So here we have a Tony Glover queue that I had a few years ago, and it's a beautiful example of just what a craftsman that Tony Glover is. He really is, in my opinion, up there with the very best queue makers. And this was a really beautiful queue. This is what we call a multi splice queue. So actually, what it means is there's several layers of splicing that have gone into making up the butt of this queue and absolutely fantastic. So this queue was ebony main splice, thick maple veneers, Makassar ebony, thick maple veneers, Makassar ebony. So that's what five layers and then there are four sides to this queue. So that's 20 splices have gone into um, creating this absolutely stunning effect. And the quality of woods that you used absolutely brilliant um, and the overall finish of the queue was, was brilliant. Very, very lovely queue. Now, part of the, the challenge of producing a queue like this is to get every single kind of layer of wood, the tips of those layers, to line up brilliantly. And although not a great shot, you can see actually he's hitting um, those real key points. So the tips all line up. I think I've got a better shot on this next one, which was a queue in its case in a slightly different light. And you get a chance to see the effect there, the black ebony, that kind of like creamy maple veneers, um, and then that kind of two-tone brown Makassar ebony. Um, really, really stunning. Absolute great piece of craftsmanship from Tony there. Um, the queue itself, I believe, was a nice ash shaft. Um, really fantastic example of a, an ash shaft. Um, people have their own preferences as to what they like to see when looking down a queue. Um, aesthetically, this is perfect to me. So you've got one, two, three, four, five nice chevrons, and it almost looks like if you look at the the bottom right hand corner there, it almost looks like that chev that last chevron there is almost looking to return to create a, what we call a a boat, which is where the grain kind of returns back on itself. Really fantastic. Now for me, it's great to see a beautiful piece of wood like that. Um, it doesn't always result in a fantastic playing cue, so don't be put off. Um, by a queue that doesn't have a, a perfect shaft um, but this was an example of a queue that was aesthetically beautiful and also was a pretty good player um, it just didn't stick with me because I kind of like to buy trade and sell I think here we just get a view of that last 18 inches of the queue so this is the just beneath the tip and you can just see those three evenly spaced chevrons um, people really kind of like to have um, this kind of view at the very tip so that kind of, this is the part of the queue that's very much in view when you're down on the shot. And um, people really enjoy uh, having real nice, straight, very well aligned chevrons. And it's, it's tough to get. You've got to pick through an awful lot of, um, a lot of wood to find kind of cues of this standard. So well done to, to Tony for his selection of wood there. I think the last view here is the, uh, just a bit of a blurry photo of the, the tip end. This was a snooker spec cue, so I think it was 58 inch long, um, 9.5 millimeter tip, and I think the weight was around about 18 ounce on this. Very, very beautiful thing. I think we'll just kind of close out with a, a picture of that cue there. So this is a, a recommendation, an explanation of, of Tony Glover's work. Beyond doubt, one of the finest cue makers out there. If you enjoyed this and you found it useful, please go ahead and like. Any questions about this queue or any other queues, let me know. And perhaps if this queue somehow kind of you owned it in the past um, or you, you still own it now, then let me know. It'd be great to know where these queues have landed. Um, comment, share. If you think that somebody else would like to see this queue and know a little bit more about it, then please feel free to share. And I'll just leave you. Please check out some of the other videos. There's loads of uh, uh, videos similar to this where I just share and talk through some of the queues that I've owned um, from many of the top, top makers. Cheers.